How to scale your brick and mortar business to a million dollars fast. Hey guys, my name is Wilson. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the four simple steps to scale your brick and mortar business to a million dollars. These are the steps that I've personally taken to scale my businesses across multiple industries past the seven figure mark. Industries from tutoring to event planning to food and beverage. I implemented the same principles to scale these businesses and I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video. So if you're interested in scaling your business to the next level, make sure you guys stay till the end. Number one step, what do you stand for? In order to get a massive loyal fan base, you've got to be super clear on what you stand for. This is the reason that you provide your customers to follow you. This is the reason why they'll be rooting for your success. This is the reason why they will be loyal to your brand. You've got to be crystal clear in terms of your why and why are you creating this business and what purpose does it serve? You've got to be so clear that you're able to take a stand for what you believe in and what the values are. You cannot be vanilla. You cannot be standing in the middle um, and floating both sides. You've got to really take a stand. And at the same time, people would dislike you, but the more people that dislike you, the more loyal fans you're gonna develop. Unfortunately, there's just no money in the middle and being vanilla. For example, if you're running a poke shop, then you would choose fish that is ocean wise because you're in support of ocean sustainability. Whereas other people may be following and maybe using farmed fish. Now you have a value that you hold tr so truly to you because you want to preserve the ocean for your for generations to come. And by these little actions and these values that you have, now you're able to attract people who believe in the same mission that wants to preserve the ocean for generations to really come and, and really buy into your brand and your vision. This is a very simple step that a lot of entrepreneurs skip because they're so into developing their business, because they're so into doing marketing campaigns and everything. And this very simple step is the key in bonding with your customers. So take some time and ask yourself these questions. What do you value? What is it that your business is serving? And who is it serving? I've actually attached some questions below, and these are the probing questions that allow you to find out all these answers in a very simple format. So take some time, download it from the link below. These are the questions that I use in every single of my businesses and understand who is it that I want to serve and what are the values that I am holding so truly to me. And these are the values that really connect to my loyal fans. Step number two, identifying your customers. So many businesses are running blind in the marketplace right now. They have not clearly identified the customers that they are wanting to serve. They open their doors and they welcome anyone in through the doors. Now, I'm not saying to take away and to kick people that are not your customer avatar out of the restaurant or whatnot or your, or, or your shop. What I'm saying is that you've got to really identify your customers so you can cater the whole experience to your customers. Understand where they hang out understand their characteristics, understand their values, understand why they do what they do, understand what stage in life they're at, understand what brands do they shop, understand the languages that they use, their desires, what keeps them up at night. You've got to be so clear and understand this customer profile so well that you can create the whole experience catered to them. Only after you understand them would you know how to communicate with them in the same language that they use. And in turn, what does this build? This builds trust. And this is the reason why they'll buy from you. Trust. For example, if you're running a high-end sushi restaurant in the heart of downtown, then most likely your client avatar that you wanna serve are these million dollar executives that are working in the tall building. And this is the place where they bring their clients to hang out. This is a place where they had used their corporate credit card. Then, you need to understand what types of experience they're looking for. They're looking to be wined and dined. They're looking to impress their clients, their colleagues. Then you need to make sure that whatever you're serving lives up to that scale. You can't serve them some cheap, bulky farmed fish. 
you would import fish from straight from Japan to serve them because this is what they're looking for. This step is quite daunting, especially when there's so many questions to ask. It's very difficult to understand how do you profile your customers, which is the reason why I've provided the templates that I've used in the link below, which you can download. Download it and be crystal clear in your customers so you can start developing trust. Step number three, value, value, value. Now that you've declared your stand and what you stand for, identified your customers, now is your time to deliver value. In today's world, anything is commoditized. And what that means is for you to succeed and for you to thrive, you've got to differentiate by providing value in your own unique ways. For example, if you're running an ice cream shop, you can provide value to your customers by hosting events. Events such as magic shows or concerts or storytelling, or even by giving them balloons or by sharing stories online. Whatever you're doing, you need to understand that it is perceived as value for your customers. I know some of you might be thinking, why am I creating so much and putting in so much effort in creating these events? These are loss leaders. These are not making me money. Shouldn't I be putting my money in marketing campaigns that I can recoup money from? Well, in today's world, this is what sets you apart by providing value after value after value. This is how your loyal base of customers are being built. This is what would set you apart and allow you, have to, and allow you to have dying fans, which would make your brand thrive in today's competitive market. A very important thing to note here is that these events are not for you to push for sales. It's not for you to convert them into, into customers, but rather this is to build the goodwill. This is where value is given. And people see right through that if you don't have that heart or that intention of building goodwill. So make sure that if you wanna scale your brick and mortar business to the next level, this is a step that we cannot skip and neglect. We need to be able to build the goodwill because in the next step, that's when we convert them. That's when we convert them into long-term paying customers. Way too many people go for the kill right away. They ask for the sale right away without building the goodwill, without connecting with the customers, without showing customers why they're doing what they're doing. And this is the fastest way to turn your product and service into a commodity. And when your product or service is a commodity, then they can get it anywhere else in the marketplace. There's no brand loyalty. There's no stickiness to your brand. And the only way that you can be able to build the loyal base of customers is by providing the value, by connecting with them, by telling them what you stand for. This is the way to create a million dollar business. Step number four, the ACE formula. This is where the rubber hits the road. This is where things get exciting, okay? The ACE formula is what would create your million dollar business. We have done the first step, which is align your whys. Second step, which is connect with the customer. Now is the time to explode in revenue. I'm gonna break this down into three simple steps for you. The first step is to create an event promoting one service or one product. Keep in mind in this step, it is so important for you to create an event and promote only one service or product and not multiple. Because if your messaging is not clear, if people are confused, if people don't get the message right away, they will not buy. They will be deterred away from your brand because they don't understand what is going on. Depending on your promotion and in your campaign, you can extend this event into a two week event or a one week event. Really depends on the budget that you have and what you're trying to do. The second step is to provide a reason for your fans to come. This reason could be something exclusive. This could be a spin off of existing services or products that you have. Regardless of whatever it is, just provide a reason for people to come. People love to go to events and people love things that are exclusive. So make it special for your customers and make it a reason for them to come to your event. Step number three, market the heck out of it two weeks prior to the event. Whether it be Facebook ads, flyers, IG ads, doesn't matter what it is, just market the heck out of it wherever your customers are hanging out. If they're hanging out at the gym, then give out flyers at the gym. If they're hanging out online and they're always in forums, then market it in the forums. Regardless of wherever it is, market the heck out of it at where all your customers are hanging out two weeks prior to the event. 
To give you an example, with our dessert chain 720 Sweets, this Christmas we launched a Christmas event featuring exclusive flavors such as our reindeer flavor and our Christmas tree flavor, specifically for Christmas. We made special designs and special cups specifically for this event so people are flooding in the gate just for that IG picture and just for that Instagrammable worthy picture because of our unique cup designs. Two weeks prior to the event, we marketed the heck out of it through our Instagram, through our Facebook groups, through our Facebook page, through our email newsletter, through collaborating with different influencers and our PR. Following this exact principle from the ACE formula, we were able to bring our ice cream chain into a six location international chain now because we follow this formula. And um, at the end of the day, start hosting these events every six weeks and you're gonna see major increase in your traffic and also your revenue. As a recap, the four steps to scale your brick and mortar business into a million dollar business. Step number one, Declare your why, understand what you stand for. Step number two, identify your customers. Be crystal clear on what they like, what, don't, what they don't like. Step number three, provide value, value, and value. Step number four, the ACE formula. Align, connect, and explode in revenue. These four steps are crucial in scaling your brick and mortar business to the next level. So many businesses out there fail because they fail to align and connect with their customers first. They jump right into creating these events, these marketing, these promotions, and these advertisements, yet they don't have a loyal base of customers because they fail to align and connect. Make sure you follow these steps from step one to step four. Do not skip right ahead into creating events for your customers because there's no traction, because you cannot develop your loyal base of customers. Make sure you follow these steps. As promised from the beginning of the video, I have attached the templates that I personally use so then you can start creating traction and so you can create your loyal base of customers. Download them from the link below, use it, so then that way you can start scaling your business to the million dollar mark. Comment below if you have any questions, I'd love to help. If not, smash the like button so you can show some support and also subscribe along the journey. I'll see you guys in the next week. Oh,